Kia ora tamariki ma, kei te pihia koutou. Our puka puka for today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, written by Eric Carl. He is the author today. And we have our very little, little hungry caterpillar here. He's going to join us for the story. Not too sure where he can sit, and we might just find a place for him to sit during the story. The Very Hungry Caterpillar in the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a very tiny, hungry caterpillar. Very tiny, hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. I would too. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. Oh, my too far, no? And here, look, the caterpillar was sitting on my knee and now he's a big, beautiful butterfly with big, huge wings. So big, he can barely see me, but that's okay. I'll go and take the butterfly outside so it can fly around. And I'll see you tomorrow. Ka kite a popo.